What's going on everybody? My name is C4. Welcome back to the channel and today. We're here for episode 47 of our Madden 24 Arizona Cardinals franchise mode. Now, if you missed the last episode, go check that out and just watch the first like two minutes of that where I explain the future and what is happening right now in this Cardinals series. But essentially, we are getting to three games per episode. One game, you get full highlights. I hop in, play the entirety of it. One game is a play the moments. One game is a sim. Now, when you look at today's episode, this is a gigantic three-game stretch. Clearly, Week 9 against Seattle at home will be the one we sim. They're only on one win. But the fact that we have Week 8 undefeated Kansas City, Week 10, the Panthers, the one lost Panthers, who since this rebuild has begun, they have been our arch nemesis in the NFC. We handled the Dallas Cowboys last episode. They're another one of the big dogs in the NFC. Philly's been up there for a little bit, but the Carolina Panthers, our main channel franchise from last year's game, they've been the best team. If it's not been the Cardinals, it's been the Panthers in the NFC. So I'm in a rock in a hard place here, and I'm right between it, trying to figure out how do we do this. My gut is saying play the Chiefs because they are the cheesiest sim team in the game. Take your chances week 10 with the play the moments against Carolina. That's kind of where I'm going. But in the same regard, I like those Panther games a lot. Those pan That's our rivalry. That is our big level. Co I, I want to get in there. I want to feel that. Kansas, but it, now it's about the undefeated streak. Like, what is the... I think what I'm going to do... I, I, we're going to do a, a play the moments here against Kansas City. And it could be a heavy hop in and play the moments. Is what I'm kind of leaning towards. Last episode, we did play the moments. We didn't really have to hop in. We handled business. In the sim, I think we came in one or two drives at the most. I think this one here, we still play the sim. But if things start to get a little one-handed, maybe we start taking over drives sooner than later and trying to help this team the best we can. Because I we we're got we're probably gonna lose. All right, it's inevitable. It was incredibly rare, one of one, that we went undefeated last year and won a Super Bowl. It is miraculous that we are still undefeated. But if we are gonna lose, my gut says it's gonna be today. We're going to try our best not to make that happen, but it's it's going to be tough. So that's, that's kind of where I'm leaning right now. We got Kansas City. Let's just rip that bait in. I, I say if we do play the moments this one and we win, I think maybe we go. This is the big one. This is, this is going to be the hurdle. This is going to be... It's going to be a pain in the ass because... The, not only do you have Mahomes, right? You got Mahomes, you crush it. But Pacheco is like also the best running back in the league right now. That's not, you know, Rosie Bonds. So let's take away the check downs from Mahomes where he gets automatic. The defense, Spags got these guys playing. We'll kind of lock into a blitz counter here. We're healthy. I think our, our biggest thing right now is just we don't have Kyler Murray playing like the reigning defending MVP as in the eyes of the league because we all know BJ Ogilary is the real MVP but the fact is as we got one injury to Bacon there got turf toe that sucks back up guard but the fact of the matter is for us to remain and feel confident that we can continue to run this undefeated streak we need Kyler Murray to play like the reigning defending MVP we not only right now we have a suffocating rushing attack we just suck the life out of our opponent's by being able to run the football down their throat. That's fine. That is our bread and butter. We've always kind of had that facet to our offense since we've drafted Roosevelt Bonds. But for me to feel like we can keep on keeping on here with the undefeated streak, we need that rushing attack that's always been there on top of the fact that Kyler Murray is playing like this MVP type quarterback. The fact of the matter is Kyler Murray is playing closer to a top 10 quarterback, but he's between 7 and 10 right now. Then he is playing like the guy. And we need him to remind everybody. We need him, Hal, to remind himself. Let's unplug the Xbox. Let's get off the iPad, Kyler. He's one of those iPad kids. You know it. And let's take it to Patrick Mahomes. He has 21 touchdowns and two picks. He's absolutely balling out. It's your time tonight to prove that you are not only his equal, you are the better one. We're not losing today. The greatest super sim team of this generation. I remember last year I did that sim where I sim the Eagles and uh, and Chiefs Super Bowl scenario and the Chiefs won like 30 in a row. They are the greatest super sim team of all time. It's not even close. But our 26 game win streak is not going to end here today. I have built, I have 
spent and sweat and drafted and and I've done everything in my power, not even just to be Super Bowl champion, defending Super Bowl champion on a 26-game win streak. Yes, that's a great accomplishment. But what I believe I've been able to achieve is a team that can beat the Chiefs in the Super Sim. And somewhat, I don't want to say reliably, but enough that's like, you know what, we can, we're can we going to be able to handle these guys. And we got 17 points in the first. Come on, touchdown. We, got, we need touchdowns here. On the road, 24. This would be an all-time epic collapse if we give this one up in the fourth quarter. Come on, just get it done, fellas. That is my work. This is how I can take pride in my work. Being able to sit back, kick the feet up, and celebrate... That I built a team. They still got Kelsey. They still got Mahomes. They got Pacheco. Not even close. They thought they were going to be a speed bump, a roadblock on our quest for another undefeated season. When the reality is, you got crushed like everybody else. 31 to 17 to the good guys. And the first big hurdle. Hey, Kyler played well. Kyler Murray did what he needed to do. 224 yards, two touchdowns, no turnovers. That is huge for him. The turnovers have kind of been kicking our ass here a little bit. 86 yards. Look, Kyler got three total touchdowns on the day. He's using his legs more, which is great. Calvin Austin with a touchdown. Rondale Moore. Now, I will just ignore the fact that Marcus House, maybe the best weapon in the NFL, is not getting utilized. Now that we've changed the format, we're doing essentially two kind of sims. He's just a ghost in the sim. Which is why when we hop in on the sticks, we go early and often to him. Papo led the team six tackles. We got a sack and a half for Ojolari, the best player in the league. Half sack there for Garrett Williams. And given the given the fact that we're going to hop in and play the Panthers, this probably of the whole remaining schedule, unless we get a shocking upset, this was the chance that we could have slipped up and lost. And we handle business. I'm proud of the guys. In game two of our triple header at home against Seattle. Usually Seattle can give us a little run. This could be a trap game. But the fact of the matter is they are 1-6. They are struggling to figure it out. DJ Leonard, the man that they drafted to come in to replace Geno Smith. To be an upgrade over Geno Smith. To get the ball to your Tyler Lockett, your DK Metcalfs, your JSNs. He has not done a particularly great job. We're going to work on stopping the medium ball and actually work on throwing that medium range ball as best we can but this should be i mean again if we're gonna lose now that we got the chiefs one out of the way i think i should be able to handle business if it's something like this where it's just you gotta laugh you guys sit back and say well man decide we're gonna lose because i mean there's no way we should lose this matchup against seattle but if our streak ends at 27 and 0 to a one and six seattle team that almost feels poetic for the state of the sim in Madden franchise mode these last couple years all right we handled business that is that was close <laughs> really close 38 28 we get a player of the week performance from marco wilson with three interceptions you look at the box score we pulled ahead in the fourth quarter the way we'd expect big second quarter as well kyler murray didn't do a whole lot but that four touchdowns not good Four picks, great, on the DJ Leonard experience. But Kyler, again, considering we got a sim once, well, technically a sim and a half every episode, he's, you know, he's he's not lighting the league up. But, you know, he's been scrambling a little bit. We got McGee, got three rushing touchdowns from our, you know, supporting cast, two from Roosevelt Bonds. So the suffocating rushing attack continued. Archibald with a great showing. But again, I can tell you right now what the issue is. We're not, we're not force feeding our 98. I don't know what he's 97, 98 X factor tight end. How how is he such a non factor? On the defensive side, no sacks. So outstanding job from Seattle on that point. Their quarterback just didn't give them much of a chance there. Four picks on the day. Three from Marco. The hat trick. Maybe throw some hats. You know, like the throw your hat out there. Instead of that, maybe throw your shoes out there to Marco Wilson. Because us Gator fans don't forget. 
We got a lot to talk to before this Carolina matchup. Game plan, hot opponent, unstoppable force. But we also picked up an injury against the Seattle Seahawks. And it is Papo. Three weeks on a dislocated ankle. Damn. It's a big loss. Very big loss. So that means, as well, we got Silas and Cut. We run a lot of nickel. Primarily nickel. Usually that third linebacker doesn't see the field. It is Christian Harris, who's a dog. Great athleticism in the mold of an Owen Papo. We have depth. Even if it wasn't him, we have Troy Anderson. So we have we are comfortable with our linebacking room. It's it's not as barren as other positions, right? Like if we ended up losing one of our D tackles right now, especially after the trade uh, to Boogie Basham and moving Milton Williams out there, I'd be a little more worried. Or if it was somewhere on the offense, like if we lost... Marcus House, I'd still be a little concerned, even though we have a superstar depth. If we lost one of our linemen, or et cetera, et cetera. We lost Kyler Murray. Obviously, that'd be a big one to franchise quarterback. But we do have cover at linebacker, so I don't think it's going to be a death sentence. But you want to be full strength against the Panthers, which we're not going to be, unfortunately. So up first, we've got a game plan against Bryce Young. And I can tell you right now, we're definitely going to set a sack goal. This is a matchup that BJ Ojolari and company want to take over. So beat the Panthers, two sacks on defense, and I imagine we'll get a big, big time boost to that front seven. Oh, you mean we're going to have even more overpowered D-line? Sounds good to me. Now the Panthers are playing great football. Yeah, this is the 8-0 Arizona Cardinals against the 7-1 Panthers. And we're going to insult them. Let's add some fuel to the fire here. They're not as good as they seek. The Panthers are playing well. All players will have plus 10 break tackle, play rec, and tackle. What do we get? Oh, we get a little bit of that. My team loves it. They're responding to it. And the last piece of business is talking about the Panthers offense. I, again, pass rush. We can stop the run. Yeah, I'm not too concerned about that. I think we're just going to have to make Bryce Young's life a living hell. And we have multiple scenarios here banking on the fact that we can get the pass rush and we can get after him. I think we're going to get it done. I think we're going to keep the undefeated streak. We're going to get to 29 straight wins. And we're going to get some big-time boost on that D-line because we are going to feast here today. Also worth noting, off of, off of a four-pick performance, Bryce Young is yet to throw an interception this year. Okay. For our weekly strategy. Well, we are going... That is actually very high completion percentage for the deep ball. Not worried about it. Teams play us. They're terrified of our pass rush pretty much every week. Unless there's something, I, like, a, it's a massive outlier in terms of, like, the team just doesn't throw the football and they run it. We're going to we're gonna stop the short pass because that's what teams want to do. They want to get the ball quickly so we can't get the pass rush going. Offensively, I mean, our run game's been our bed and butter. This is not a game to get cute. This is not a make-right game for the offense, for the passing offense. This is a game that we go beat our arch nemesis, the big rival that has emerged in this series outside of of the NFC West has very much been the Panthers, and it is time to handle business here. It is time, because you know they want to do that. You know there's some RNG under the thing. As Kenny Ha, we're going to be on our top corner. Back straight to Hodges. Owen Popo on the shelf. They, they have done everything in our power to make this harder than it needs to be. Okay. This is what it's all about. This is the game we want to take and play and embrace. Even this late, almost 50 episodes deep, when you can find a game, a regular season game, that matters as much as this one, that has been, as far as the playing field, leveled as much as this one has been, right? Two best teams in the league, but we've been so far and above the best that they'll take away our best corner in the league. They'll take away Owen Papo, our user linebacker. They're going to take away these things to try their best to make it close. There are doubts. There's rumblings on Sunday night primetime. That the undefeated streak ends here to the Panthers. Our arch nemesis. Two years ago, they won and done us in the playoffs when we were the one seed. And, and went on to win the Super Bowl. And then the year last year was easily the second best team in the NFC. This year, they think they're going to stop the streak. Ah! -ha! Turd style Moten. Get ready. Oh, okay. Okay. I see Bryce Young, no picks and counting. But 
well, we got to get some pressure here. We need some, we need, not necessarily, I'm not saying we need coverage sacks, but we need to give him, hes, make him hesitate a little bit. He is just on rhythm right now on this opening drive, which is on brand because every time we play, we know we are god awful on defense, the opening drive. It takes a while for our, like an old beater car on a cold winter morning, right? You got to let her run for a little bit. Might sputter. Might not sound the best. But after a couple minutes, once that engine heats up, you know, you're going to get you're gonna get some power. And that's our defense right now. We're warming up. We sputtered a little bit on the startup, you know. But we'll be back. We'll bounce back after this drive. God damn it. Why is it fucking every time? All right. They missed their extra point. So there's a win. See if we get Calvin Austin out the backfield. Utilize the speed. Didn't get all of it there, but makes it third manageable. Now, I know he's forgotten. I know it might look like on number three there, there's dust all over him because he's not been getting used. Use him a little bit of a decoy there. We're going to get him. He's got to get his here today, Marcus House. All right, goal line. Who wants it more? This is all about who wants it more. And 52 wanted it the most. Second and goal. Looks like Jeremy Chin there wants to come in. Try to lay the lumber on Roosevelt Bonds. And he does a pretty good job. So we're going to dial up a slant. Oh. Perfect world, we can bail to the right and just get Marcus House wide open. Love it when a plan comes. Let's make this kick. Trust my team to make this kick. And the one point lead to the good guys. Ooh, what a play. Quentin Silas and Christian Harris, the backup linebackers. Get the big time stop there on a screen pass. And if they miss that tackle, that's gate of 15. And drive continues. What a gong. What a gong. God damn it. All right, 98 yard drive coming up. Oh, we go Rondell. Okay, gets absolutely smashed by Jeremy Chin, but then after snatching an ankle or two on that run. Big time run there with Paris Johnson Jr., our best lineman. Hopefully, he just he's holding his wrist, but hopefully, it's just you gotta go take a dump. Damn, fan, feeling it already. Abdominal, he was holding his fucking wrist! What's the time frame on an abdominal tear? That seems, uh,. Significant. How do you not make that throw? Get off Roblox and make your check downs. Here we go. Sack number one. It's one. Well, get another one. End the drive. Offense is banged up right now. Oh my god, Tommy Tremble, what? The fuck is this? Now. Tommy Tremble God, apparently. Alright. I see it. I'm gonna run the ball down your fucking throat this drive. Huh? How about 30 straight runs? You're not sniffing the ball. I'm going to get a touchdown here, running it, and I'm going to get the ball to start the second half, and I'm going to run it another 15 times. All right, let's see it, House. Come on. Win. Win right here. Be wide open. Let's go. 
Now this is all about wanting it more. We don't got a lot of timeouts. I don't want. I don't need to use them. We don't need to use them. And I get the ball to start the second half. Fuck the Panthers. Prior to my French. For all you kids watching. That's the kid. I got eight kids to watch my shit. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, that's Brian Burns trying to... Oh, my God. That's that's insane effort. Hell of a run. But for Brian Burns to make that play downfield, that's insane. It's coming to you, big dog. It's coming to you, big dog. Psych. Psych. Do the Yoda. Signature. I hit signature to the Yoda. The Panthers are backed up. Throw a penalty. Third and seven. This is where. I mean, that, that didn't look pretty, but that was effective. It's time to keep the momentum. Pile it on right now. Pull ahead. Was well, it gonna be easy? They're our rival for a reason. Derek Brown, good God. Oopa Loompa hunting. Panthers are gonna go for two here to try and tie it up. Now let's go. Someone be a heat seeking missile here. Put their Oopa Loompa on the shelf. Oh, no. Instant catch. All right. Game on. See you, Rondale Moore. I don't like it, though. Derek Brown. Jesus Christ. Arizona Cardinals are shockingly missing Paris Johnson Jr. 90 tackle on the up. We're shockingly missing him here today. It's a hell of a play. Ah. <sighs> Not a whole lot of plays for third and 16. Marcus House. If he can get separation there, that's going to be man coverage 41. I think this one's going to be can our O-line hold up. Because if they can, we got a game wrecker. Oh, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? For the goal on the one. Do we just want it more? Do we just want it more? Is that, that's kind of where I'm at. If we want to keep this undefeated streak alive. Oh my God, what a fucking stand. We had it too. They wanted it more. They pushed us back. All right, fellas, you know what needs to be done here. Who is this fucking guy they got, man? They got a bowling ball, Mike Tolbert in disguise? Ojolari, right here. Safety. I know he's audible and I know he think he's Peyton Manning Jr. My God, man. Tommy Tremble is the best tight end I've ever seen. We just played Travis. We just saw Travis Kelsey do nothing, but I guess Tremble's him. We're sacking a guy. You can just go in for the sack. My guy's going, I'm going to scare you. Right, he's trying, you know, wacky inflatable arm flailing tube man pass rush there by Duval. Rather than just putting him on his ass. Hold. That's not a hold. All right. Go, fellas. 
Ben don't break. Get the ball back for the good guys here, for the offense. Bail him out. Ogilvy needs to go. We need, what, we're a three-sack goal? We got one. There we go. Oh, get in, yes! Milton! Let's go! Let's go! Oh, baby, what do we got here? They think they got a money play. You think he could stop in the inside? Oh, he hits the weight arm flame too, man. I mean, I'm kind of lactose with Tyler, and I think I need to go take a shit. A dump off of this defensive performance. What we're seeing, the broken tackles, it's bullshit. Absolute shenanigans. That's Owen Popo out there, not Christian Harris, though. Is that a is that a made tackle? Probably. Is that a jump pick? Maybe. I'll cheese I'll cheese right back at you, motherfucker. I'll cheese right back at you. Ooh, play action. Do you go for a little bit of a kill shot here? Got him. Got him. Fuck out of here. Panthers. The Panthers? Yeah, right. This is on you. Push their center of the way. Look, tuck, tuck and run. Jeez. What was that? On fire. Stop, drop, and roll. Only you can prevent forest fire ass pass rush right there. Oh, let's just let... There we go. That's what we need. All right, here comes some sort of audible bullshit. Uh, OPI? I don't know. Holding? Hopefully, it's not anything... Roughing the passer? This is unbelievable! How many breaks are they going to get here today? How many? This is unreal! Let's go do some legendary shit! We go, Kyler in his X Factor. Get out of bounds. Oh, my God. thank God. Thank God he finally plays like an MVP. <laughs> okay. Well, I got a kicker that has every ability a kicker can have. Superstar kicker with both kicking arc and slow kicking. Of course, there's seven wind. Oh, my God. It, I can't mess this up. That's why it pays when you see a generational kicker in the draft. A guy that could be one. A guy that has A kick accuracy, elite kick power. You get him. You draft him in the fifth round if you need to. Squib this. Our defense. Third and whatever it is. We don't play prevent here. That's not how we do things. We're going to get our third sack here. Get our scenario. First pick of the year. How about that? Off a hat trick. Up to the challenge. Bryce Young, no picks all year. Yeah, right. Ends now. Sure, Hail Mary, garbage throw, whatever. Still goes down the stat book. First pick of the year. Four picks in the episode. Marco Wilson. Had to step up too. Kenny Hodges out for the game. Picked up an injury. And you gotta think. That the toughest stretch, the two toughest games in terms of talent for us to end our undefeated streak, we just handled it. 38-35, what a game. Bullshit, sure, whatever. Kyler Murray, 290 yards, two touchdowns, no picks. A buck 48, a tutty for Rosie Bonds. Kyler with another rushing touchdown. Marcus House finally, the dust, we dusted him off after the Sim just ignores him. Nine catches. 161. He was he was ready to go. Wasn't tired at all. Rondell with 80. Archibald with the tud. Defensively. Had to step up with Owen Papo out. 
We didn't get our goal, though. We needed three sacks. We only got two Duvall and Ozier Larry. Marco Wilson with the game ceiling pick. But we beat the Chiefs and Panthers, man. Whew. In our first scenario, 2,500 XP, and Ojo Larry has his X Factor enabled for the entire next game, huh? I think I know which one I'm playing next episode. And we handle business, Kyler Murray. Gassed him up. Entire team gets 2,500 XP. Not all great. Not as long as I thought, but a two week injury for one of the best young tackles in football. On top of a bunch of depth guys, a lot of our main starters after that huge XP boost get to go up. None more so than always. I mean, just look at this specimen. He's the the best player in the league. Oh, we're just going to give him a nice little plus three power move to And Eventually, he'll be a 99 power rusher, and there won't be a damn thing you can do can stop him. So we start the episode undefeated. We finish the episode at 29 game win streak. And when we come back, the next three header, we got Minnesota, the Giants, and the Chargers. But the fact that week 11, by hitting the scenario last week, which means BJ Ojalary is going to be an X Factor all game. Vikings are 6 and 3, top 10 offense, top 10 pass. Like, that's probably the matchup we got to go and play. And we get a breakout for Kyler Murray at quarterback. He's already an X Factor, but that would be a huge XP boost for him. Maybe that would be the kick in the ass if we hit this to kind of get him back to playing like that MVP quarterback for the back stretch of the season which is what we're going to need to happen. But 9-0 and oh for the good guys. And not to... Job's not done. But I think the hardest work for this, given the schedule that we got, has been done. And we got our adversity, man. Paris going to be out another couple weeks. Papo out another couple weeks. We've had injuries. We've had adversity. We've had bad play. And we're still 9 and freaking Oh, so thank you guys very much for tuning in today's episode. We'll be back tomorrow with a new episode of The Honey Hunters. If it is your first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. And until next time, it's your boy C4. Say peace. I love you. Have a good one.